in just a moment. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But let us just humble ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we, we acknowledge you as the Lord of our lives, Hallelujah. as the Lord of life. Because rather we acknowledge you or not, you are still the Lord of life. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. And as, rather we accept you into our lives or not, you are still God. Hallelujah. And you are perfect in all of your ways. And we humbly submit and we just say thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you for another day. Somebody didn't make it, but Lord God, you saw fit thank that you. we would Hallelujah. wake up this morning. That we would have breath in our bodies. Hallelujah. What a privilege and an honor to just be able to praise you another day and to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. So, Lord God, we forget about ourselves. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Lord God. Right now, we bless your name. We, we say thank you for who you are. Hallelujah. It's not about what you've given unto us, but we do thank you for those things. But it's about complete worship. And worship must go forth whether you give to us or not. Because we adore you, Lord. Because you are the king And in a kingdom, the subjects, they go and they worship. Thank you, Father. The king, they bow down, they submit. And so we submit on today, oh God. Help us to submit every day. Yeah. Show us the way, Father God. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord. We need your help. Oh, Lord, and we'll be so, so so mindful and so careful to daily tell you thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And to honor you and to worship you and to bless your name and to put you in your right.
in four places. Not in the back of the line, but in the front. Hallelujah. 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 So today we give you thanks, Lord, in this moment. Tomorrow is not promised, but today, today, right now, is the most important moment of your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, because you're alive right now. Verses 15 to 18. Jesus said unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said unto him, Sir, if you have borne him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said unto her, Mary. She turned herself and said unto him, Rabboni, which is to say, Master. Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I have not descended to my Father. But I go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend to my Father and unto excuse me, send unto my Father, your Father, my God, and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord, and thus she had spoken these things unto her. Amen. Can we give the Lord a hand of praise? Amen. For the reading of his word. For the women went and they didn't find Jesus there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Do you really love him? And I 
got an amen to that. You got to love him more than anything in this world. More than your mama, your daddy, your job, your money, mm -hmm. your children, your career. You got to put him first. Hallelujah. As we're still in worship, how many know one person came to Jesus and said, you know, this person has died, Lord, and what do I get? Jesus just shut him down. Let the dead bury the dead. How many know the grave don't speak? I said, the grave can't talk, y'all, hallelujah. So while you're alive, somebody shout, I'm alive, I'm alive. I've got to give him my all, hallelujah. I've got to give him my best. How many know if you're at 50% and you give them all of that 50, guess what? You're giving him your all. Hallelujah. 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 Me and First Lady, it's our anniversary weekend, 28 years. Amen. Amen. We could have stayed three or four days, but how many know that worship is important? We said we coming back Sunday so that we will be in the house. How many want to be in the presence of the Lord? Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Y'all heard what I said? It's got to be more than yourself, more than your spouse, more than your job. Hallelujah. He has to be more. Mm. Come on, put your hands together like this. Down to you. 
How many know you're always in the presence of the Lord? Why? Because he's everywhere. But it doesn't reveal himself to be there if, if you don't feel him or see him or recognize him or acknowledge him. How many say, somebody say amen. And how many know you can step into a room and not feel his presence because he has detracted his presence from your feeling. Hallelujah. Uh, just like he what, turned them over to a reprobated mind. They will not feel his presence. But how many know that if God allows you to feel his grace, <clears throat> the hedge of protection around you, how many know you can abide under the shadow of the Almighty? How many want to abide in his presence? Your abiding presence. Mm. Your abiding presence. Mm. How many know it's like a sweet savor? Like perfume, hallelujah. Like the fragrance, hallelujah, of the alabaster box. His abiding presence. How many long to be there? Hallelujah. Get out of this crazy world and crazy fast-paced thoughts. And, but you can just abide in his presence. Where there's peace. Where there's joy and harmony. Hallelujah. Mm. But how many know we got to learn how to get on the right frequency watch this the right page mm. we got to get in the right space and in the right place hallelujah clear out the clutter from your mind hallelujah i come to worship him today hallelujah how many came with one agenda and not to lift him up hallelujah he said if i be lifted up hallelujah i said he said if i be lifted up he would draw all men unto him Stop lifting up your programs and your agenda and lift up the name of Jesus. For the name of the Lord is what? A strong tower. And those that would come in, they are safe. Hallelujah. His abiding presence. Mm. We're going to make a song off of that, y'all. Watch this. Hallelujah. It may not be today. But how many know I want to abide in His presence? Hallelujah. Where there's healing. And deliverance and there's a way being made hallelujah mm. Lord help me to abide where in your presence mm. guess what I, I know I couldn't wait to get here and see y'all but guess what if I just see him I'll be alright hallelujah and then when we realize that we're together fellowshipping Hallelujah. The Bible says that the, the Holy Spirit fell. But how many know their minds got to be free? From the least to the greatest, their minds have to be void of foolishness. Oh, it has to be. You got to empty yourself. Hallelujah. Don't you come with an agenda after service. Oh, y'all missed a good place to say hallelujah. Amen. The only thing that matters is this this moment right now not buying every thought that's not like him hallelujah throw off your restraints hallelujah cast them aside hallelujah throw everything overboard Holy Ghost, help me today. Hallelujah. Throw it overboard. You don't need that weight on you. What does your Bible say? Lay aside every weight. Hallelujah. And the sin that what so easily beset us. So when First Lady was singing, it's so easy to love him. We can't love him because we got weights on us. But if we lay them things aside. Hallelujah. You got the power and the bind and loose it. Let it go. Get rid of it. Tell it, amen, that I put you under my feet. Hallelujah. Because I want to abide in his presence. 
Not in my own presence. Did y'all hear what I say? Hallelujah. Because your presence don't mean nothing. Hallelujah. But, a lot, but abide in his presence alone. Hallelujah. Lord, would you have your way in this place? Oh, Lord, have your way in this place. Hallelujah. Mm. I heard one of our members, hallelujah, they were here. Amen. They had to leave and they could have stayed back home, but I see that they pressed their way back. Why? Because I believe we, we want to abide in his presence. Hallelujah. Help us to abide in your presence. Help us to press. This is the press way. Help us to abide in your presence. I know I got to preach, but I want to abide. Yeah. No, I ain't no singer, y'all. But guess what? I want to abide. Yeah. Mm. Hallelujah. I want to abide. And my background singer, I'm saying, in your presence. <laughs> oh, I like that, y'all. Hallelujah. Mm. Y'all ready? I want to buy. I want to buy. I want to buy. I want to buy. So much joy. So much joy. I wanna abide in your presence. I wanna abide. I wanna abide. Well, there's so much joy. There's so much joy. So much joy. So much joy. bunch of songwriters that have gotten rich just from writing songs that other people say. Amen, somebody. So much joy. 
so much joy in your body present so much joy so much joy and you're abiding hallelujah thank you Jesus so the first part of that is amen there is joy in your abiding presence amen we'll write it down Father we come before your presence hallelujah we thank you for music and we thank you for worship. And Lord, we can't hold a note to the angels that bow down and sing holy, holy, holy unto the Lamb. But I know you receive sincere praise. Y'all missed a good place to say hallelujah. Lord, you receive sincere praise. Hallelujah. A broken praise and a contrite heart. You said that you would not, amen, turn away. So, Lord, I send up my timber to you. Send up my praise to you. I acknowledge you, Lord, and I send it up to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, you're good. How many know he's better than good? The Holy Spirit just said, I'm better than good. <laughs> Amen. People can do good things, but I'm going say, nobody is good but the Father. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the Father sendeth us good gifts. Hallelujah. And one of those gifts is the Holy Spirit. Oh, talk to me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because if you got it, you got a good gift. Hallelujah. Oh, if you got it, you got a good gift. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got the best gift. Hallelujah. It is the best gift you can ever receive. And you didn't have to work for it. Hallelujah. You didn't have to die for it. He paid it all. Hallelujah. Oh, it's the best gift. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, it's the best gift. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Holy Ghost, don't let me go today. It's the best gift, y'all. And how many know that your greatest sin is not heavier than the Holy Ghost? Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody unwrap your gift today. Now, y'all have to figure this out. Unwrap your gift. Amen. Somebody unwrap it with the praise. Hallelujah. Open up yourself. The gift is in you. Open up yourself. Hallelujah. Cry loud. Spare not. Hallelujah. Lift up your name. Lift up your voice. Hallelujah. The gift is inside of you. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. How many know the word of God is living water? Hallelujah. This is the birthing of the church, y'all. I got one last statement before I go to the word. Watching a video of preachers, amen, they were hitting people. You may have your seat. They were hitting people and they were passing out. Yeah, they, they passing out because you didn't hit them. You know, the prayer line. How many know if the Holy Spirit is in the room, you ain't got to touch nobody? Because how many know you ain't got the power the Holy Spirit does? Hallelujah. And, and it does a mockery to Christendom when we have gone along with these antics and these gimmicks and the Holy Spirit is saying, you, it don't take all of that. Mm. Aren't you free today? Thank God that you're free. Come on, give them a freedom praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah got rid of those shackles that were holding me, that were binding me. Amen. Shackles of depression. How many know in order to gain emotional intelligence, you've got to get rid of emotional foolishness? Amen. Amen. 
Hallelujah. So many people walking around with emotional foolishness. How many know I ain't got time to be stuck in the middle? Amen. Mm-hmm. You what? How the cold? Mm-hmm. Here it is. We're going right to the word of God. Amen. The last book of John leading up to the church. We thank God for the worship today. Amen. The book of John, 21st verse, 15th, 21st chapter, 15th verse. Um, truly very, very, very exhausted in my body. I think I'm running on three hours sleep. Hallelujah. <laughs> and uh, I only tell you that because, amen, this is my lifestyle. Y'all hear me? Amen. This is my lifestyle. I can't, I can't sit at home from worship. I can't take a day off from worship. Because how many know worship should increase? Amen. The more you get to know him. Amen. Mm -hmm. We were at, you know, the whole weekend as you're getting, you know, to John. And then, you know, we went different places and we had a nice time. Amen. And we were just talking about how people are doing whatever they want to do. And I was just wondering, where does God fit in this whole equation? Amen? Where does God... And you don't know what nobody believes, right? Until you have a conversation with them. And uh, I'm just... I'm just glad that I know him, y'all. Amen. Amen? I'm just glad that I know him. And I just don't know him. I know him in a place. Want to know what that place is? I know him where? In the pardon <laughs> of my sins. Uh, what did, what did, what did, thank you, Holy Ghost. What did, what did Paul say? I want to know him where? In the power of his resurrection and in the fellowship of, it, you got to know him in a place. That's for a whole, whole nother message. Because some people say they know him. Amen. But what does your life dictate how you know him? What will what, what you allow people to come in your circle and get you to do foolish stuff, but you still stand your ground and say, I'm not going to act a fool. Amen. Yeah. Hello. I ain't planning none of this. The Holy Spirit, I believe, is moving through me. Hallelujah. I'm not going to let bad influence the good. Y'all hear me? Not going to be around feet running, swift feet running to mischief. No, sir, not Tracy. Amen. Not me. Somebody say, not I. Not I, I saith the, the cat. Not I. Not I. <laughs> Even if you want to identify the cat, not I, saith the cat. <laughs> Not I. Somebody come up with you. Not I. You know about this? Not I. Mm -hmm. They're going to be like that person. Crazy. Yeah. For Jesus. Not I. Amen. Amen. How many know you, you got to get away from that foolishness? Because people gravitate to gossip. Mm-hmm. And when Jesus died, guess what? There was a lot of gossip going on. Mm. Deke said, yes, Lord, it sure was. But before he left, this is where he left off speaking to his disciples. Did we pray? Yes. Amen. Thank you. So when they had dined, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, lovest thou me more? than these. He said unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. Now this whole first part is very, very deep. I'm not going to the deep end. We're just going to stick our feet in the shadow. He said to him again, somebody said the second time, Simon, son of Jonah, loveth thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. 
He said unto him, what? Feed my Feed my sheep. Notice now, lambs and sheep are different even though they're the same. Mm -hmm. How many of different levels to the animals? Different ages, different stock, different all types, amen. So you got babies, you got mature, you got the ones that are very, very mature. So Jesus is just trying to figure out where, not figure out, he already knows, but in his uh, conversation, communication uh, with him. Where really does your loyalty lie? Amen. Look to your neighbor and say, where, where does your loyalty lie? lie? Here it is, hallelujah. And, and, and now, you know, Peter is getting agitated. Jesus asked him the second time, he's getting agitated. You can tell in the conversation. 17, he said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonah, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus said unto him, then feed what? My sheep. My sheep. Verily, verily, I say unto you, when thou, was your, when thou was young, thou girded thyself. This is Jesus talking. And walketh whither thou wouldest. But when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hands, and another shall gird thee, and carry thee whether thou go, whether thou, whether thou, whether, or whither thou wouldest not. Let me just break down 18. Guess what? You was a baby. You was young. As you get older, Folk gonna have to tend to you, and then in your older last stages, folk gonna have to wipe your bed. How many know you ain't gonna be young always? Amen. Everybody in the room over fifty say hallelujah. <laughs> you ain't gonna be young always. You're going to grow, and as we get ready to get to the meat of the word, thank you for those that have tuned on. Amen. Uh, God bless you, uh, Larry Montanus. Amen. He's a good friend of ours. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 19. This spake he signifying by what death he should glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he said unto him, follow me. So here it is. Let's go to the book of Acts. The next page. This is where we come in. Somebody say the birthing of the church. Jesus has died. It's been 50 days after his death. Disciples. There's an account that talks about them going to Emmaus. The opposite way to Jerusalem. Jesus tells them to go wait in the upper room. We're going to read it in a moment. But how many know that he has left a promise with us? To wait till he what? Returns. And how many know sometimes, even in our own thinking as Christians, we, or have you ever thought that he really ain't coming back? Have you ever thought that in your mind? I have. Why? Because I'm human. And I have thought that, you know, from time to time. But the overwhelming, somebody say overwhelming, reality that God is real, Jesus is real, the Holy Spirit lives in us, I have no other choice to believe his word. Amen. Amen. I look at the world, I look at the amazing things that's in this world, the heaven and the, 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 the blanket of the clouds, the, 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 the oceans, how they fold back from, amen, the white and brown sand, <laughs> the deepest, bluest sea. How, 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 how many know that there is a God? There's a God that loves you so much that he sent his only begotten son. But here it is, there is a God that, amen, wants to defute or refute everything that Jehovah has done. 
Amen? Because the Bible says his time is short. Here now, here is the church. Amen? Give me about 15 minutes. Hallelujah. Not that we're putting a time on God, but I believe we can, you know, capitalize this. Amen? In a couple of moments. Here it is, the first verse of the book of Acts. Former treaties have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and to teach. And just for everybody's knowledge, the writer is Luke. The writer is Luke. He was not one of the 12 disciples, but he was one of the 70 disciples. Somebody say amen. Amen. Until the day in which he was taken up, after that he, through the Holy Ghost, had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them 40 days and speaking of them pertaining to the kingdom of God. How many know that the kingdom you won't be able to see it? The Bible says the kingdom does not what come with observation. That means you can't even see the Holy Spirit. Amen. So many people are saying it's here or it's there or it's no, you won't be able to see it. It moves around on its own volition, on its own accord. And I believe this is not gospel. I believe that the Holy Spirit has its own personage. How many know that if the Holy Spirit lives in you, he's taking residence in you. He, he, he Guess what? When. When we sin, I ain't going to say you, some pastors and preachers say you, like they'll never do no wrong. But when we sin, how many know the Holy Spirit takes a back step in your vessel and let the flesh of you do the sinning? Because there is no sinning in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Anybody believe that? Yes. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit cannot sin. We had a test, you know, on our, our, our chat. Some of y'all responded, some of y'all didn't. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> it's a lot of things the Holy Spirit can't do. Can't lie. Can't cheat. Ain't going to be what? Part of no foolishness. Amen. God can't lie. God can't steal. What's, the, what's one you wrote, Sister First Lady? God can't do what? He cannot go outside of his word. Amen. That's why sin has a penalty. Sin has a penalty. Sin left a stain. <laughs> Amen. On the cross. And the stain was the blood of Jesus Christ. You ever heard of that's the guilty stain? Amen. That stain was the blood of Jesus Christ. He died for our sins. And watch this, hallelujah, I'm parking for a second. The devil has uprooted so many falsities from the pit to where God has given people that are not settled in their salvation, watch this, strong delusion. Because guess what? There is really, really no way you should be fooled. Amen. Not if you're trying to do it the right way. I know I'm going to get to the upper room. Well, Pastor, how many some wonder why? Because some people are not trying to do it the right way. Amen. They're trying to take shortcuts. They're trying to get rich and still go to heaven. Amen. How many know the Bible says it's hard to do that? Mm -hmm. They're compromising what? Doctrines, beliefs. The flesh of us has invaded the church. And now the flesh got more power than the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. In some churches, the flesh, the emotion, has more power than the Holy Spirit. Because how many know the Holy Spirit not going to stop you from acting foolish? You have to allow what the Holy Spirit to take control of you, yeah. of us. 
Hello, somebody. Your feet walk into mischief. Amen. You have to tell your feet, I'm not, not I. Save the cat. That's right. I'm talking sound doctrine, y'all. Because so many people are falling by the wayside. Hallelujah. What verse, D? Four verse says, And being assembled together with them, this is very important. Commanded them that they should not depart where? From Jerusalem. From Jerusalem but wait for what? The promise. the promise of the Father, which said he, ye have heard of me. You know all those skeptics that say that they're not three in one? That should debunk one of them right there. Did it say they wait for the Holy Spirit in this verse? Come on, y'all. Look at the text. It says, wait. My Bible says, wait for the Father first. What does yours say? From the Father. From the Father. Father and what? Creation. Come on now. Many times I said this, y'all got to be able to retain it. Son and what? Redemption. Let's do it together. Father and creation. Son in redemption. I can't hear you, Deacon John. You should be the loudest. Let's do it again. Father in creation. Son in redemption. Holy Spirit in what? Regeneration of the church. One last time for the record. Father in creation. Son in redemption. Holy Spirit in? Right. That is your homework for the week. To quote this. Get it in your spirit. That way what? Nobody can confuse you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because it's a lot of fathers. The greatest one on earth is the devil. What did Jesus say on one occasion? You of your father. What? The devil. Bells of so don't tell me he's a lot of folk father. Yes, he is. And he's not in hell. There's no exit in hell. He can't go and come out. Y'all hear me? Young people. You hear me? There is no exit in hell. If you find yourself there, there is no returning from there. To his demon, to the devil's demons and to the devil. The devil does not live in hell. Hell is not a dwelling place like a house to where you're going to be happy. Amen. Guess what? We Guess what we need to get back to, y'all? Preaching fire and brimstone. Because this watered down gospel that people preaching today won't, sell no, won't save nobody. Amen. You mean I can live any kind of way and still make it to heaven? No. The devil is a liar and you too. Not you too. You too are a liar. So we need, to, we need to make sure our loved ones know that. You can't live any kind of way Amen. and still make it in. Amen. Why would Jesus need to die? Amen? Amen. All right, all right, all right. What verse, Dee? Fifth verse says, For John truly baptized with what? Water. Water. But ye shall what? Be baptized with the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost, not what? Many days hence. Jesus gives this word to his apostles. Six verse says, when they therefore were what? Come together. That is the first bullet today. We got to learn how to come together. I thought when I came, I was just going to preach the house down, but no, I see the Lord telling me to teach. We got to learn how to just what? 
come together. You may not be the, the showcase, the headliner. You may not have a part. We got to learn what to come together. Because we're what? The body of Christ. We're the body of Christ. Amen. Somebody said we're the body of Christ. Okay. So here it is. The second one. And they asked of him saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, watch this, is it, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. What is Jesus always referring back to? The Father. Thank you, Mr. Man. His Father. What did he say? When you've seen me, you've seen the Father. You cannot separate the three. They are one. You cannot separate them. They have their titles. They have their uh, different. I'm a father and I'm a son and I'm a pastor and I'm a coach. A lot of titles, but it's the same what? Person. It's the same personage. Hallelujah. And you've got to know that without a shadow of a doubt. This is sound doctrine that I'm talking today. Not throwing in my own belief or my own whatever. It's sound doctrine. What did Jesus say? In the latter days, people are going to fall away from the faith. Giving what? He to seducing spirit doctrines of devils. Hallelujah. Eight verse. This is where the gift comes in. Eight verse. Probably the most powerful scripture to the believer in the whole book. But ye shall, let's read it together. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. What, to, what is that power? That power to... Become your own God. No. To buy your big jet. To be and then get another big jet. Is that the power that no. you're talking about? No. Those are very easy questions that y'all have answered and answers you have given. But how many know that that's not what's going on in the world today? They think they got power because they lay hands and somebody can fall out. Hello? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Satan has power. <laughs> mm -hmm. how, many know, how, how many know that you got to watch out for wolves in sheep's clothing? And I'm always talking about pastors, aren't I? Because this message is what comes to me first. I cannot preach on something and I don't find myself in the text every time. Amen. But that's what you have going on today. Teachers that are teaching false doctrine. Yep. And people are believing falsities and heresies and thinking that they're going to hell. So what is that power? Here it is. Ninth verse. Let me go back to, to eight. Because this is important. And it says we're supposed to be witnesses. You didn't get saved to go hide in a corner. Amen? Amen? You didn't get saved to be ashamed of getting saved. Amen. Now, I'm really talking now. <laughs> I believe we got saved. That power is like a light. Amen. We don't put what a candle under a bushel and hide the light. Amen. 
The Bible says that we should be like what? A light? <laughs> a city set on a hill that cannot be hid. So if you are not How many scared to say that you're saved in here? Because guess what? It's going to show through your lifestyle. Amen. One bad thing is if you're a witness and your light is terrible. Hmm. What kind of witness is that? Nobody going to get saved from that type of light. What did he say? Number eight. But ye shall receive power after what? The Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye, what's the first thing? So the power is not to show off. Hello, y'all. The power is not for you to think you better than everybody else. Or even to big, build the biggest barn. And be the, the mega or be whatever. Nothing wrong with the church is flowing. But how many know if you got to be a witness with that power? Mm -hmm. You got some terrible witnesses, y'all. Don't y'all know that the, that, the, that the jurors get, they get tested before they get to the stand? Did y'all know that? I got two examples. This one and then the elevator. Don't let me forget the elevator. So, juror, are you familiar with the case? Yeah, I know. I heard about Well, okay, you're excused. <laughs> How many know a juror can't have no information on a case he's about to try? Because you're an unfit juror, you'll be biased. You'll have a whole bunch of biases form before they even get you in the room to be on one accord. Did y'all know that? Yeah, they don't want you if you think he's already guilty either. Amen. They, they, they don't want jurors that think that, you know, they're going to solve this case. No, you got to hear all the evidence before you try. Here it is, what verse D. 9 verse says, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. Somebody say taken up. And a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly, everybody look up. Steadfastly toward heaven. As he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Somebody say angels. angels. Which also said, ye men of Galilee. Talking about the disciples, the apostles. Why stand ye gazing up into heaven, this same Jesus, somebody say same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go up into heaven. How many know we're not going to heaven to stay? We may go to heaven to be judged. But he's going to build what? A new heaven and a, a new earth. So don't think that your assignment here of being a witness is in vain. Oh, this is good teaching, y'all. I feel it teaching myself. Because once you receive the power, guess what? You get a new assignment. And your first assignment is to be a good witness. Mm-hmm. Here it is. We're going we're gonna to skip all of uh, 12, 12 through 26 because that talks about Judas and him being excluded from the new heaven and the new earth. He messed up his assignment. How many know you can mess up your assignment? You can. And guess what? In his case, there was no makeup. <laughs> you can't make up that because the Bible says it would have been better if he wasn't even been born. So here it is, the second chapter, 
And this is where we're going to conclude. And when the day of Pentecost was what? Fully come, they were all with one accord, where? In one, one place. Suddenly there came a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Now I'm going to break this down, we're going to do our offering, we're going to pray, hallelujah. The people were already there, but his presence was not. Mm -hmm. They were already what? Praying. Everybody know that, right? Mm -hmm. He tells them, did we read, go to the upper room? We read that, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Hello, I got one person saying, mm -hmm. didn't we read that? Did y'all hear that? Wait for the promise of the Father. Yes. Go to the upper room and wait, right? The upper room was a chamber in one of the houses. Amen. They went door to door. Amen. This was a chamber. It was a place. Remember the, the preaching of Elijah? They, this woman made an upper chamber. This is how things were done in Jerusalem. Especially if you don't want folk to know that you're in there praying. <laughs> Somebody said it was a secret chamber. You ought to have a secret chamber in your house for prayer. Hello? Because guess what? If you ain't, and this ain't nothing, nobody get offended, but if you ain't praying here, I know you ain't praying home. You're not. If you're not praying here, you're definitely not praying home. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all looking in the Bible, you ain't reading, you just don't want me to call you out. <laughs> How many know we need to pray? We need to pray as never before. We need to come together what? And pray. We need to come together, number one, be able to come together without agendas. Yes. And then the Holy Ghost fell. Here it is, the uh, second verse. Suddenly there came the sound from heaven. They were in one accord in one place. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. How many know the Holy Spirit was not there until they got what? On one accord. accord. And that is our issue. We have not learned as a people how to come to worship and not be void of our own demise. Because we got all this stuff going on. Amen? Amen. Anybody ever been like that? I remember being like that. Yes. I remember when I was the praise and worship specialist at our church back home. Mm -hmm. wasn't that I could sing so good it wasn't that you know I could carry a note so fine it was because I was available and I was faithful we got to learn how to what be faithful yes. hello I drove the church van I was a deacon of the church I was the brotherhood president how many know you get in ministry find a place where God can use you you ain't got to be the one to pray all, all the time, but be ready to pray. Hallelujah. Yes. Hello, y'all. You ain't got to be the one to read her, but help somebody else find their place. Y'all think I'd just be playing around when I ask D, amen, uh, you know, what verse D? No, that's his job when I'm reading. To help the pastor what? Find his place. Yes. You got to find your place in ministry. Somebody say, find your place. But the first thing is you got to come, get on one accord. Find out what's going on. Find out where you fit in. Get in where you fit in. Amen? Here it is. And there appeared, after they were all on one accord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like what? As of fire. So, this is the first sign of his presence. Y'all listening? Because sometimes we, we, we ignorant of God's presence. 
Hello. Somebody say amen. All of us. We looking around at other stuff instead of praying. We, 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 we got our own agenda in our minds. So instead of hearing the word, we, we hear what we want to hear. Woo. That's a good one right there. The fire will not fall unless the people are on one accord. Because guess what? If there is foolishness in the house, the Holy Spirit will not be a part of that. People can have their own power. I'm talking good, y'all. People can put on their own show, their own entertainment, because gifts come up without repentance. There are great orators and speakers that can come up and do motivational stuff, amen, that will tickle your fancy but can't get you in the kingdom Amen. Mm -hmm. but when the Holy Spirit comes yeah. it falls on everybody that's on one accord Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah and guess what there are fake stuff that go on in everybody's church because the devil even he imitates what God is doing. Do y'all hear me? So somebody can be in the same house where the same Holy Spirit is going on, but being used of the devil, amen, because they want... Mm -hmm. Guess what? The devil got their attention. But guess what? I, I will never, I'm going to pray that I never, somebody pray this with me. Lord, we pray we never be used of the devil. Amen. Amen. Because the devil can use anybody. He can use anybody. From the pulpit to the door. Now, I bet you didn't see all this in the text. I guarantee you, you didn't because I didn't see it. But in order to be powerful witness, you got to come and get what? On one accord. Amen. And when the Holy Spirit fell, cloven tongues like as a fire, not like as a foolishness. Amen. <laughs> Where in the world can you teach somebody how to speak in tongues? Oh, they got stuff that they made up in their own power. But it's not authentic and it's not the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is not the author of confusion. And I'm not talking about speaking in tongues and somebody else interpreting what you say. No, it has to come from a, a genuine well. A genuine spout. Do y'all hear me? Out of your belly shall flow what? Rivers of water. Not tainted streams. Mm. Locked up valleys. Well, I, I got to, I got to keep going. As the Spirit gave them utterance, the Spirit, right? Yeah. Not yourself. Yeah. I can't just speak in tongues right now because the Spirit not telling me to. Do y'all hear me? Yes. Amen. And when you find that foolish stuff going on, there's a demon around. Wow. And not only do it need to be denounced and cast out, you need to recognize, amen, and call that thing out. Because it's not from God. Because the spirit not going to what? Behave what? Unseemingly. It's not going to bring attention to itself. Amen. Hello, because the Holy Spirit know who's in charge. God is in charge. Hello, y'all. Not the person God is in charge. Amen. The person does not will the power. The Holy Spirit brings the power. Amen. Hello. And ye shall what? Receive power after that the Holy, not before, after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. And they were dwelling, watch this, and I got to close it. Hallelujah. They were dwelling.
Hallelujah. Somebody say there's coming a time. time. Not many days hence. <laughs> where we won't have to leave his presence. <laughs> Somebody give the Lord praise. Mm -hmm. Anybody anticipating when we when we get to the new place? Amen. Yeah. Amen. But how many know you got to be content with where God has you? Amen. So I'm just going to read the rest of this. Hallelujah. God bless you, Pastor, for joining. Hallelujah. Here it is. Uh, there were dwelling Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. How many know the, G the Jews crucified Jesus, but the Romans put him on the cross? Did y'all know that? Remember they were saying, release Barabbas. It was their custom, right? Release a prisoner. What did all of them crucify him? Pilate was like, what you want me to do with it? Crucify him. The Jews said crucify Jesus. But it was the Romans that put him on the cross. Shameful, right? Here it is. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitude came what? together and was confounded because they every man heard them speak in his own language. They were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in its own tongue wherein we were born? Parthenians, Medians, Elamites, and the dwellers of Macedonia and Judea, Cappadocia, and Pontius, and Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, and Egypt, parts of Libya, about Syrian, the strangers, the Rome, Jews, and proselytes, Cretes and Arabian, we do hear them speak in our language or our tongues the wonderful works of God. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, what meaneth this? Others mocking said, these are men full of new wine. Let me just read Peter's sermon for a moment, just for your hearing. Peter standing up with them, with the 11, lifted up his voice. How many know Peter was in the upper room? Lifted up his voice and said unto them, ye men of Judea, all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be ye known unto you and hearken to my words. For these are not drunken as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was what? Spoken by the prophet Joel, and it shall come to pass. 17, we read it all together and we're done. It shall come to pass in the last day, saith God, I will what? Upon all flesh. Sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word today. Hallelujah. How you have had us teach with soundness. No gimmicks, no tricks. Father, it's time out for that. Father, we want to be authentic in what we do. Father, we want it to matter. Father, we want to see you in your glory. Father, we want to be vessels of honor, not vessels, amen, of flesh. We want, oh God, your glory to be seen in us and for us to be witnesses, effective witnesses. Father, in these last and evil days, Father, help us to be good witnesses, oh God. Help us to go after the orphans, oh God, to bless the widows. Father, oh God, help us, oh God, to meet the needs of the poor and the needy. Help us to be a light to a dark world, world oh God. Help us, oh God, to love ye one another. Lord, this is our prayer. Meet us at the point of our needs. We shall give your name the glory. And if everybody says amen and you love Jesus, come on, give him a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We worship.